Oh yeah, there. Wow, the world's going to crap, but I'm still cooking. How you doing? You all right? It's me, No Nonsense Cook. Um, and I've already started cooking my tea tonight. And then I thought, this should really be on my video channel. But uh, I completely forgot. So I like my cook food every cooking anyway. But I'm just switching my music down a bit. What I like about this particular meal though, that I'm cooking today is that it's a case of chopping a load of stuff up, shoving it in the sauce, been cooking it for a while, shoving your herbs and spices in, bish bash bash, cooking it for a bit longer, free tomatoes in, whatever else you want. It's a dead easy meal to do. And um, I'll explain to you how, where, where I've got to and what you need to add next. So it's basically a butternut squash curry. It hasn't really got any other name on that really. Butternut squash is an amazing, amazing vegetable. Um, it smells nice, it tastes nice. It's great in soup, to be honest with you. Um, I've made a few soups. I'm not making a soup today though, I'm making a curry. Um, Spartan beard. So I'm gonna crack on now. I'll explain to you what I've done and then I'll explain to you what I'm going to do. As ever, I'm cooking a, um, a chicken one and a vegetarian one, but I'll just basically focus on the vegetarian one. The chicken one's easy, you just add chicken as well. There we go, bish bash bash. You can cook the chicken first or add the ingredients after, you know, brown it and then add the ingredients after, or cook it all together in one go. I tend to cook it all together, but you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just going to go and get a couple of ingredients and I'll be back in about three seconds, seven, about seven seconds. Right, okay, so what I've done so far, butternut squash, um, you've got the seeds in one end and then it's shaped like a, uh, a willy, I was going to say the D word then, shaped like a willy, butternut squash, um, the long bit, the long shaft, <laughs> sorry, you cut that off, you need a big ass knife for butternut squash, something like this, big bugger, because they're a very strong vegetable, so big ass, big ass knife. You chop the squash up um, to about yay size, chop it up into little bits, skin it first. What was I saying about the shaft? Yeah, you just chop chop the long bit off. You can use the whole squash if you like. We'll save the other soups me out, you know, but the, the most of it is just, you know, just a shaft of it. <laughs> so rude. Anyway, so yeah, you get your squash, you chop it up into little cubes like that. Chop an onion up as well. Um, I like courgette, we have courgette in most things. Chop a courgette up, chop some mushrooms up. Onions, basically all that. Co um, sorry, it's been a busy day. Corn, uh, squash, so you get your squash, you get your, chop your onion, whole onion, whole squash, whole onion. Um, one courgette, um, I don't know, a few mushrooms chopped up. Stick them in there, some flour oil, um, I'd say a tablespoon, stick that in as well. Um, two cloves of garlic, a ginger, just look at another double of fresh ginger. If you haven't got those, you can get powder. If you're using powder, put as much in as you want. I'd, I'd recommend a teaspoon, like, to, you know, a measured teaspoon, but, you know, some people absolutely love garlic and ginger, so put in as much as you think you might need, but don't put any more than about a teaspoon in if you're not really used to you know, if, if you like things fairly mild, and it's your first time cooking it, you don't want to get mad, do you? Um, I'll, what I'll do, I'll show you quickly where I am in terms of this. I've obviously bunged it all into a pan, added some oil, and it's now cooking away. You can see in there. Yeah? Oh, God. You're all steaming. Sorry about that, hang on. There we go. Sorry about that. You went all steamy then. Understandable. Um... I'm gonna give that a stir. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Oil-wise, I recommend sunflower, but you can use vegetable. You can use spray, fry light if you like. Um, what I'd say, one thing that does complement the squash as well is like some kind of butter or margarine, something like that. 
Um, I don't use it when I cook Mandy because she's on a, like a diet sort of thing. Well, we all are, you know, because you know health's important. But if you want to spruce it up a bit, cook your onions and your squash and your courgettes and that in maybe a bit of butter. Just a nub, just about as much as you'd put on a piece of piece of bread. Jeremy, you know if you think of it in that context, it's like you know one one um, one piece of bread and butter. But we ate the bread, so you know it's not that bad. And you are making a lot of sauce, but it's nice to cook the onion and that in a bit of butter as well, maybe. That's a very good recommendation. I'm not doing that today with that. I am with the chicken one. I'm making the chicken one as well. With the chicken one, I haven't put so much veggie in, um, or squash. But it's the same kind of thing. You cook your squash down so it gets really soft and your onions are browned. And anything else that's in there, your mushrooms and your courgettes. But you kind of leave it all together to cook together. Stir it occasionally. Next ingredients, I haven't got any fresh chilies today. I usually use fresh chilies. Any fresh chilies you want, really. You can get your quite mild ones. If you want to get something a bit more spicy, feel free. There's no rules on chilies, really. Just, you know, watch the really hot ones because it could just ruin a meal for you if you're not really used to it. Um, but you can get from most stores and that, just get like the bug standard chilies. You, get a, you can get a lot of packs of green and red ones, you know. But don't, you know, obviously avoid the really hot ones if you don't want to. I quite like the bird's eye ones, the tiny ones, but. You know, whatever's for you. I haven't got chili, chili, I forgot to buy chilies the other day, so I'll probably use, like, you know, your, that sort of chili. I've also got some chili powder. I also like throwing fresh coriander in this. This is the whole beauty of cooking. I haven't got fresh coriander today, but I've always got some coriander seeds, or I've always got some coriander powder I can throw in. It's not the same, but it still tastes nice. Do you know what I mean? You all go to work most, yeah? You're not gonna have time to get fresh ingredients. Um, I mean, I'm at home all the time at the minute, but I don't know. Messed up on the shopping, what can I say? I haven't got any fresh coriander. So, ingredients that's going to go in there next when it all softens. And time-wise, for cooking that, so I'll start cooking that about 10 minutes. 10 minutes ago, and the squash is already softening. Look, like I say, butter squash tastes amazing in like most things. It's kind of got a sweetie thing. And if you're not really a fan of vegetables and you're cooking this, um, and you want to do like a sauce with chicken, Cook the squash down, cook it down so it's really soft and it just makes a nice sauce. You can make a lot of really good healthy sauces out of vegetables. And if you're not a massive fan of vegetables, you could be a vegetarian and not like vegetables for instance. I know I know there are people like that, they're not that keen, they like to use the you know, they like to eat corn and the likes, but but with this, if you cook the sauce right down, you can cook the sauce and the onions right down, you can get like a sauce. Do you know what I mean? I like vegetables, but I quite like them well cooked. But cooks it down you know so you can even cook the cook the corn cook, cook um the squash and everything down as much as you want i'll cook it till it gets quite soft um so i can literally i can get a spoon or whatever and push it and it goes through the squash um which i'm close to now the next ingredients obviously chili um chili powder or whatever or fresh chilies if it's fresh chilies put a couple of fresh chilies in depending on what type of chilies they are depending on the strength you know, chilli powder, this is hot chilli powder, I'd put about a teaspoon or so in that. You know, but it's all down to how spicy you want things. Um, coriander, I'd usually put a load of fresh coriander in this. I don't really measure that, just put as much in as I want, but I haven't got any. I've got coriander seeds, I've got some powder, so I'll use, probably use the powder, the seeds, you know. You have to wait for them to soften and a bit of a nightmare. Turmeric, great. Um, all of these, right, I'd say a measured teaspoon, I'm going to put in of all of these. Um, into the curry, the, the, the one curry. Basically, I, I'm giving you measurements, it's based on one curry. But, but you get quite a good pot of curry out of this, so, but yeah. Obviously, he, he, there are people who like, you know, proper, proper like cook, especially with Indian food and that. They'll say you need to put a lot more turmeric than that, but you know, I'm talking about a more sensitive palate out there. But after your first one, if you think I need more spices, add more spices. So turmeric, garam masala, Cumin, these are all ingredients for most, you know, using a lot of things. And tandoor, I uh, know, oh just, just curry powder, just any curry powder will do. I like to have a bit of curry powder on hand as well, just to chuck in, do you know what I mean? And a can of tomatoes. And you'll need some water as well. What I tend to do, I'll throw the tomatoes in and I'll measure up the water to about that much, throw that in as well. That's about as much water as you need, to be honest with you. Just one of these after you've thrown the cans in. Okay. And, and that's that. Oh yeah, and salt and pepper, obviously. Um, Add that to taste, basically, what I would say. Some people cook and they don't taste the meals that they're cooking. That's the biggest mistake you can ever make. But don't know, don't, don't try it every five minutes. But in terms of like, um, I think you should always season things. Salt and pepper, are the, you know, they're the, they're the king and queen, aren't they? Um, but 
I wouldn't give you a measurement for them. Just put in as much as you think's right, Jeremy. To start with, put like a, I don't know, a couple of, couple of teaspoons in or whatever. Fair enough, put a tablespoon in. Try it, Jeremy. Try it three or four times. See if you've got the right palate for it. If it's not right, stick something else in. I also like stuck cubes as well. If you don't want to use salt and pepper, just stick a stuck cube in. One of these stuck cubes, I mean, I use a vegetarian one because I live with a vegetarian, it makes sense. And they're quite nice. Saves a lot of hassle. Um, you know, if you're in a rush, buy a pack of these, they're amazing. You throw them in anything, you make loads of stuff. But I'd say the core ingredients, obviously, and these are the core ingredients for making most curries and that. Um, turmeric, garam masala, cumin, coriander, chili you know can't go wrong with those so what i'm going to do now i'm going to add the ingredients i've already put garlic and ginger in i've used fresh garlic and ginger today um, which i've mentioned before i am now going to add all the other ingredients and i'm going to try not to cut you off at the same time oh i've got somewhere where i can put you now it's a bread bin a top of bread bin now i'm going to do a bit of stirring uh, yeah Right, I'm going to turn that down because the squash is going a bit, it's more than cooked, it's uh, not quite mushy, as you can see. That's kind of great, do you know what I better turn the music down. You've got sizzling, you've got sizzling, you've got Marvin Gowan in the background. You won't be able to hear my beautiful voice, my beautiful speaking voice. So there we go, I've stirred the one. Don't concern yourself about the chicken one. Like I say, it's comes straight on the veggie one. But again, add your chicken if you want it. Okay. Jamie boys, the lids are up. So I'm gonna start adding ingredients now. Obviously you can't see the green ingredients going in, but just take a word for it, I am adding it. ingredient this you put it if you um, if you've had an operation or you've injured yourself get yourself some hot milk stick some of this in it heals wounds it'll give you the power of the wolverine there we go so a bit of turmeric i put a bit more than a spoon of this in because i love the stuff and a spoon two put two two, two, two two spoons into this i love it it's good for you it'll make you live longer Put some coriander seeds in. Can't say I've used these much, but you know, we'll see what happens. Not many, no. Just a spoon in each. Spoon, spoon, one spoon. We're just talking about measuring the one color, but I'll put one in each because you know. Um, chili powder. I would have much preferred fresh chilies. To be honest, a lot of the Indian restaurants you go in, they use powder. They get the best sorts though as well. They do get the best sorts. The stuff I get is from supermarkets. And I'll be honest with you, it ain't great. Pop down the market if you can, you'll get a better deal on spices and that. I'm too lazy, but you might not be. You might want to be a proper cook and become a chef one day. You know, so think about that. Garam masala, I love this bad boy, garam masala. I'm gonna have to get some more spices. I'm actually going to here. There we go, spoon and that, actually a heap spoon, but it's over a teaspoon. Teaspoon is everything, you know, teaspoon of everything. Curry, curry powder. Like I say, if you've got a stronger palate, put a bit more in. The key ingredient in this dish is this squash. It's the actual squash, it's delicious. It cooks into all the sauce, it cooks into your meat if you're cooking it with meat. It cooks into everything, it's absolute beauty. And I'll throw some of this in for spice as well. Just a, just a bit of a, bit of tobacco. I shouldn't advertise, but it's a hot sauce. Okay. There you go. So I've done that. I'm going to stir all that up now, my mates. I'm not going to show you because I don't have a cameraman. And, well, 
this one do? It's all cooking fairly nicely. Let's get it on. salt and pepper in there so I don't need to worry and um, well, I put a bit of salt and pepper I didn't put a lot in I'm actually going to put a stuck cube but like I say a bit of salt and pepper it's fine um, save time stuff does ah, just burn my finger oh What's bad, I used to work in a bakery when I was a, a student, and uh, I'm so used to burning myself now. Like, I will burn myself all the time now. I had some horrendous burns, because I suppose most of the time I turn up on the job, hunger, hungover. So I'd make a right bloody mess of the day. I weren't a bad member of staff for a student, but uh, I, did, um, I did get a lot of injuries, and I was quite a clumsy oaf. You know, as you are when you're between 16 and 18. I've spilled curry down my white t-shirt. Why would you wear a white t-shirt when you're using tomorrow? Right? Yeah, you can't see me, sorry, I won't hear you. Yeah, hey, never mind, I've spilled tomorrow all down my t-shirt. It doesn't matter. Um, Finally, the tomatoes. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'll show you the curry now. You'll see, squash is cooked here. I've got a chicken one there as well. The squash is cooked here. So basically the squash is the sauce now. You'll be very lucky to find actual chunks of squash in there. It's mainly just sauce. But it's nice, you've got your vegetables, you've got your mushrooms as well, you've got your onions. It doesn't matter about overdoing stuff as well. I quite like, say if I cook, cook an onion and I'll go over brown and it gets... I can't open this can. And it's sort of, um, you know, if things get a little bit burnt, it's fine. It's fine. It all adds to the flavour, mates. There we are. That's the last ingredient, the tomato. And I'll put a bit of water in as well. So, next step after this, you probably don't have to cook it for much longer because eat my meat while my chicken's pretty much cooked. It's cooked, it's cooked, it cooked before. I cooked it a little bit before the other stuff. That's cooked. The vegetables are cooked, obviously. Um, it's only look kind of stuttered, it didn't it's cooked, it's cooked, it's cooked. But yeah, that's all cooked, so I'm just going to stir this up. And what I'll do, I'll give you another look at it in a minute. And you'll see it, and you'll be like, well, not bad, that don't look bad. Yeah. Let's have a look. I'm just going to stir these up first. Like I say, the squash is like you know, it's the fact, it's, it's the main factor of the sauce. You cook it in, squash is delicious, that's what I can say on the issue. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly film it just so you can see what it looks like now. Mm. Andy approves, mm, nice. she said it smells nice as well. So, there we are, it's a champ, it's a champ. I'm going to try it myself. Oh, it's a bit yeah, it is, it is, it's still on the thing of me jugs. Um, I'm on the wrong stone. It's gonna spit that, isn't it? It's gonna spit. It's gonna spit all over my face. It's already spit all over my t-shirt. Never wear a white t-shirt when you're cooking, folks. Right. Do you wanna try it, man? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna try it. Kind of sharing. We live together. Live so together. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna try that one. I'll try the one. And you can taste, you obviously can't taste it because mm. I just tasted it, but you can taste the squash. Mmm! In the sauce. The only thing I've got to do is cook it for a bit because I use coriander seeds, I've got to cook them to soften. I haven't got any coriander, but hey ho. 
anyway, that's that. I'm finished today. Mandy's going to eat all hers now. That's the way it does. Before tea time, it will all we'll be gone. But yeah, there you go. I'm not say the key ingredient in this is squash. Okay. It's good blood. Right. Manda, I need to sort this up now. Thank you very much anyway. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>